Most people say that living in Los Angeles requires you to own a car in order to survive. Today, I challenge that assumption. With the rise in electric motor and battery tech, utilizing alternative electric transpo like electric bicycles is more viable than it has ever been before. But have we gotten to the point of being able to ditch our cars altogether? Let's find out. For the next week, I will remove all automotive transportation from my life and replace it with only an electric bike. gangster style. I only live about eight miles from the studio, which means that using an electric bicycle for that is totally possible. Also, I gotta make up for some of the gas guzzling <laughs> that this truck does. Hey. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Hey, Steven, Nick. Good nice to meet to you, meet man. You. The most common thing people, you know, you're gonna think about what you're saving on is gas, right? Yeah. But you gotta look at wear and tear in a vehicle. You're not doing as many oil changes, tire yeah. changes, all that stuff. The miles are so low now that his insurance is almost cut in half because he's under 7,500 miles a year. So it's considered <laughs> a luxury vehicle. Yeah. Of course, you get the exercise. He said the biggest thing he got though from commuting was the Zen time. Changing the Sam and Nico name is a big deal. Sam and I have called it the Sam and Nico channel ever since it was just me and him. We're changing the name from Sam and Nico to Corridor Crew, but we can't half-ass it. We need to do it right. It's not just a name change, it's a full-on branding change. If somebody hasn't come to the channel in a little while and they see that it says Corridor Crew, they need to know that it's the same channel and it's the same people. We need to enhance it with our art. Both Sam and I have been pretty strict, saying we need to have everything set to go at the same time. The little intro to the video, the channel name change, the icon change, and most importantly, the banner. The banner needs to be good. It needs to be photos of the crew. It needs to speak to the team that we are. So Sam has told me he's going to dedicate his passion and his artistry to getting a really solid banner photograph for us. It sounds like he has a pretty cool vision for it, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So I'll wait for him to call me in for a picture. God, why is this picture day so stressful? I'm taking pictures, but I don't really have a direction. So I'm just gonna wing it. See that pink line? Yes. Step speed on that? Yeah. Generally toes at. Look like a cool guy. Take a baby step backwards. Baby step forward again. But like, what will I shoot next? <laughs> that's such a great photo. Sam, that's 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 profile thing. photo worthy. Hey, good. Pretty natural. Yeah. So you take a baby step towards me, yeah, there we go. Straight on, so go straight, go straight again. Uh, relax your arms just a little bit. Oh, what to right next? <laughs> Lighting setup. I chose the first light that was plugged in. It's an LED blanket. We played around with those last year. You get this nice soft diffusion. Here you'll realize they're gangster style. Yeah. The bike I'll be using is the Blix Comfort Prima from the Blix Electric Bike Company. It comes equipped with the Shimano Steps mid-drive electric motor, which is an assisted power system that lets you bike as you pedal. There is no throttle and no special knowledge required. All you do is get on the bike and the Steps motor assists you along. The aluminum alloy frame is built specifically for this motor and when combined with the 700 centimeter double wall alloy wheels and padded leather saddle and leather grips, it delivers a comfortable, smooth ride. It's a commuter bike and commute is exactly what I'll be doing. 13 miles. 13, 13 miles. miles? Okay, 13 miles. So you're gonna be getting here, it's gonna take you like yeah. 35, 40 minutes. I mean, that's a lot of minutes. I mean, I would be interested to see if it's possible because from my experience in LA, it's like there's not even sidewalks and everyone here drives like a maniac. So it's like literally the whole world is fighting against you. Yeah, kinda. I am now officially on my first electric bike commute. I'm gonna be mostly taking two rivers, meaning I'm gonna go about an extra mile in a direction that I don't wanna go. However, there is a shortcut. If I take a set of abandoned train tracks, I'll save about a mile on my trip. Do not take the train tracks. These are active train tracks, all right? And currently I'm stuck somewhere over the 710 freeway. All right, this is the river path. The thing I really like about this assisted power system is that you can still get a workout in. Given the time it takes to work out at home, drive to the studio, and the time it takes to drive back at night, I actually think I save myself a half hour a day. LA is one of the most sprawled out cities in the entire United States. Honestly, like I, I love biking. I, I've loved biking my whole life and it's great. And then once I moved to LA, I stopped it. The city was just fighting me. It's kind of scary to bike. Dude, cars are like <laughs> Could this go horribly wrong? Yes. And if it does, then we will know that LA is the most non-pedestrian friendly city on the history of the planet, which it probably is. It's so fucking sketch around here. This is 
clearly an area that's not set up for bicycle transportation whatsoever. Definitely 45 minutes. Hey, look, there's Ren. Oh, hey, dude, you made it. Nice. I made it, dude. Day three, commute home. And there's two things I've noticed so far. Number one, Zen. You get a lot of time for thought and reflection when you are out here effectively alone after a day's work. You get a lot of time to think about it. And on your way in, you get a lot of time to think about your way in and what you're gonna do that day. So that's really, really nice. I really, really like that. Number two, however, know your gear. Know what you might need uh, along the way. And the only way you really get to know your gear is by using the gear that you have. I've already had to cancel an appointment. I've been trying to go to the eye doctor for about a month now, and today I finally had an opportunity to go, but there's no possible way that I could take my bike to the eye doctor and get over to downtown LA for another meeting that we have in time. If I had a car, probably would have been able to make both of those things, but it's just too far and not enough time. This isn't a fun day because I'm carrying a lot of weight in this backpack right here. I'm carrying airsoft rifles. They're heavy, they have batteries, they have magazines with BBs in them. I gotta take these all the way to work. I don't have a car. There's only one way to do that, grind it out. Between the filming and the traffic today, it's taking me, out, oh, it's gonna take me over an hour. Look at this. So every time I have to cross a road, I need to wait a super long time for traffic because you have to roll with traffic across intersections. This is, to do this every day and to replace it with your car is not, not, not enjoyable. Um, so I know we've been planning to change the branding and I know the name for the new Corridor Crew. Uh, but honestly, Sam's been tucked away in the cave uh, during this whole process, so I have no idea what the new assets look like at all. Is it official? Is it flipped? We're changing the channel name right now. How are you doing it, Jake? Like, are you, are you doing it right now? Question, are we gonna have crew shirts now? Dude, no. oh. heck yeah. yeah once, once we get the fancy new slack on Once Jake gets the merch store back up. <laughs> Dude, I just send him the new designs, man. Black on just, black. You guys just wait. Trust me, the wait on the merch store is gonna be worth it. I promise you. Dude, yeah, TVs, man. Oh, oh, yeah. So pro. The time to announce our one million subscribers street meat barbecue. Maybe not call it street meat barbecue though. Street meat barbecue, dude. It's a meet up barbecue in a park in LA when we hit one million subs. So hit that sub button. That's what Jake forgot to end his sentence with. We'll announce it, <laughs> we'll probably announce it not here. Oh, hit that subscribe button if you wanna get us to this park oh, yeah. meet. You mean that like our viewers are part of the crew? Yes. Uh -huh. So hit that subscribe button if you want to be part of the Corridor crew. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Ren. Putting over 200 miles in on this electric bike, I've come to the conclusion that you can actually live in this city without owning a car. But that said, you're not gonna be able to get away with not using cars at all. You're still gonna need to rent cars, do things like ride shares from time to time just to get around this city. Why? It's 500 square miles and it's been built pretty much from the ground up for cars. But if you can find the efficiency in your life to get by on an electric bike, you can actually do it. And you're gonna save a ton of money that way too. For me, however, I'm not ready to give up cars just yet. Huge thanks to the Blix Bicycle Company for hooking us up with the electric bike. If you guys are interested in trying this on your own, go to blixbike.com and use the offer code CORRIDOR100 to get $100 off your first bike. You're welcome. Okay.